Hey everybody. Oh, I'm going to start by showing you some pieces that I just um, came out of the resin coffin um, for the second time. Um, all three of these have been resin twice. Um, and in the video yesterday, I said how I had forgotten to tape the back of them, of the round ones. So, oh, let's see. So I have little beads of resin around the whole thing that I need to sand off. But it's super pretty. So I'm gonna move that and then I'll show you the other one. And this, I showed you, I think, because this is the one that had the air bubbles, the little holes. Um, and I just love this one. Let's set that aside. Ow! And then this is from video uh, 297. And I've shown it a few times. But now it's got its second coat of resin. And it's really, really pretty. I just love, love it. So that one I resined twice because um, the canvas um, or the edges, it had pulled away from the edges a little bit, which the canvas will do because um, the weight of the resin, just a little bit because um, I'm going to have to brace um, the back of my commission piece. I'll have to put some board behind it for when I resin it so that it doesn't happen to that. So I've got new lighting. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to move it a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if it looks the same or not, but I did get better lighting for taking photos, but I still don't know how to do it. Well, I mean, I do. I just, I really need to get a wall painted so that I can take pictures. Um, on the wall instead of how I currently do it, which would make photographers cringe, which is setting them on the floor and taking pictures from the top down. <laughs> but I tend, to, I tend to pretty much do everything in a somewhat unconventional way, so why not taking pictures? Oh. I like these lights though, I feel like I'm in the movies. So I'm going to do a mallet smash um, using kind of a um, warm color toned theme. I've got uh, Grumbacher Cadmium Red Deep Hue um, mixed with my fave. Can't give this enough praise. Artist Loft, which is Michael's Iridescent Medium. I've tried... Liquitex iridescent medium, so I'm gonna have to get another brand so I can, you know, it's hard to hard to judge when it's you've only done three, you know, three different ones. So I'm gonna have to get another brand and judge that. But it, it looks like nail polish because it's just so shimmery. And then this is Grumbacher Warm Gray. Shake that. There's that, which I think I decided I was calling it light tan. I was like, I'm not calling it what it says to call it. Then this is Liquitex Basic Burnt Umber. I was trying to decide this versus the raw umber, but I think I'm going to go with this because, let's see, raw umber is so dark. Yeah. And then I was going to, because I bought... I bought this color and I think it is the most horrid color, um, Burnt Sienna. 
I just, I, I don't like it. And it actually would go with this. Maybe I'll try a dash of it, but I need to, um, I've got like a couple tubes of these too for some reason. So I think I'll give them to a friend because <laughs> he'll use, he'll use those colors. Um, and then, um, because I can, I'm going to toss in some Prussian blue. And so all these are mixed with Floetrol and water. Even this one, I just added the iridescent medium after the fact and more water to thin it out. Got my Dutch Boy interior latex paint. And I'm going to set these to the side. And um, if you've watched me at all, you know that I can tend to be clumsy. So what I'm about to do, um, I see I have a big vat of, uh, of paint, <laughs> white mixed paint, like uh, that I'm hoping I don't spill. I still haven't cleaned out that gallon container, and I don't know if I really will, because I like, I like, I have been putting them in here, and I kind of like that. And I think I like not having the white sit around as much, even though I still was going through that gallon, you know, in a week, but. Oh, so this is my vat of paint. Oh, and it's too thin. Too thin, too thin, I think. Mm, it should work for this mallet smash. What? Oh, shit. Uh, see, I just spilled some white into my burnt umber. Putting, I just added some more paint to this. So I'm going to stir it on up. I really didn't add enough for it to even be. With the mallet smash, it's not as important. Uh, with the flip and drag, it's quite important. Yeah, that's no different. So I'm going to just go with it for this. This is an MDF board, um, half inch thick. I think this I'm not really sure what size this is because I know it's, I don't think it's a traditional size because it seems smaller than a 10 by 20. And um, I know he had, the shop teacher at work had extra board um, from the sizes I had requested. So I have a feeling that this one might be the odd one. So I'm going to set this under the table. Please don't let me kick it over. But I don't want um, I don't want to smash mallet smash it. I'm trying to see where my um, measure my measuring tape. Ah, I see it. I'm gonna, I want to find out what size this is. So I organized the two things, three things I can never find in my studio is my measuring tape, my razor, and my scissors. So this is 18, 10 by 18. So kind of an unusual size. I'm just gonna torch out the bubbles. not a bubble. I don't know what this is. 
gone now. I'm gonna pull my chair back up. Okay, bum ba da bum. I was trying to decide if I wanted to do I think I will. Whoa. I think I'm going to do the light mallet smash. Let's see how well, if you can still see it going this direction. little bit of paint on here but then I'm going to put the paint here and dip my dip my mallet into it Like I've done, this is like um, the last the resin painting where I dipped the mallet and then um, smashed it. Okay. I don't. I don't feel I sound like I have my thoughts together very well. Oh, I've just been so busy. It's it's easy to get distracted. Let's see. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, I really wish I had tilted off more white, but let me figure it out. Got the mallet. And I have a lot of white on, I'm going to actually tip this a little. I have so much white on, on there. So I'm gonna use some of that. And then here's this. Let me do it a little bit off camera so that I don't. Ooh, look, pretty. more brown and uh, red in that so so 
I'll scrape that up. the iridescent to show. Oh, there's no silicone in this. I guess I should have stated that. Um, I find that I don't need silicone in my mallet smashes to get cells. a sec. Um, I'm going to turn it back this way. So far it looks exactly how I want it to look. I'm going to tilt a little bit off, but it's looking exactly how I want it to. I'm going to readjust you now that I readjusted myself. And the painting from the video yesterday, that like that long video that, you know, I was like, oh my God, what have I done? Turned out it's still drying. Uh, it's taking a while to dry, but I really like it. And I can't even believe that. Like, um, cause I seriously, that was one, as I said, I never, I never give up. I never want to give up, but there was a, there was a point in last night where I was like, I, I can't continue on this one, but I did. And it is so unique. And, um, there's a story there, you know, now there's, and it still looks like fields and flowers and very organic to me. And I'm looking at it right now and I'm really happy with it. So there is a lot of paint on here, but I think it will still be okay. Um, this MDF is primed, but it still is thirsty. So I don't, so I think it will be all right. I am loving how the Prussian blue is starting to come up little cells of the Prussian blue. Um, I might want these though. Here one day, gone the next. Yeah, there is a quite a bit of paint, but I don't think it'll move very much. So I don't know why. Why do I do this when I know that that finger is dirty? <laughs> Touching up the edges and getting more blue onto it. I don't know why I do that. Gosh, because none of it's even tilting off on its own. I'm going to leave it because I, I really don't want it to look any different than this. So I'm going to leave it and I think it will be okay. Gosh, I love these colors. I'm hoping that that iridescent, I mean, it's right here. I can't really tell where else it is. That looks more burnt sienna. 
And um, the dip tray is pretty too. Actually, that I can tilt around. I could make a little painting. All right, so I'll zoom you in again. And then call it done. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch y'all next time. Bye.